Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about Voronoi diagrams, specifically about nearest neighbour interpolation, as shown here in the syllabus. Interpolation is the process of using values of a variable at known points to estimate the variable's value at other points. Nearest neighbour interpolation is a simple method of interpolation. Given the values of the variable at the sites of a Voronoi diagram, the value of the variable at any other point is estimated to be the value at the closest site. This means that the estimates of the variable for all the points in one cell will be equal. The variable recorded at the sites might be rainfall, internet speed, elevation or snowfall, for example. For example, Suppose the sites on the Voronoi diagram below represent the location of rain gauges used to record rainfall within a city. The results of the rainfall recorded at the sites can be used to estimate the rainfall for the nearest neighbours. Each location within a cell is assigned the value recorded at that cell's site. Locations in the blue region are assigned the value recorded at site A. Locations in the yellow region are assigned the value recorded at site B, and so on. So locations in the blue region are assigned the value 12 mm of rainfall. Locations in the yellow region are assigned the value 7 mm. Locations in the green region are assigned the value 14 mm. And locations in the pink region are assigned the value 9 mm of rainfall. For locations that lie on an edge, we take the average of the values recorded at the two closest sites. For example, locations that lie on the perpendicular bisector of AB are assigned the value 9.5 mm, the average of 12 and 7, the values recorded at sites A and B, the adjacent sites. For locations that lie on a vertex, we take the average of the values recorded at the three or more closest sites. For example, the location X, which is at a vertex, is assigned the value 11 mm, which is the average of 12 and 7 and 14, the values recorded at sites A, B and C, the adjacent sites to the vertex. In this question, we're asked to use the nearest neighbour interpolation to estimate the value of the variable at the points given. So in part 1, if we plot the point 6,3 and identify the site that it's closest to. As the point lies in cell G, it's closest to site G. So the value of the variable at 6,3 is estimated to be 20 the value at site G. In part 2, plot in the point 1, 2. We see that it lies on the edge adjacent to cells A and B. So it is equally closest to sites A and B. So we estimate the value of the variable at this point by averaging these two values. giving 15.5. In part 3, plotting the point 3,5.5, we see that the point lies on a vertex adjacent to cells B, D and F. So it is equally closest to these three sites. And to estimate the value of the variable at this point, we find the average of 15, 8, and 4, given a value of 9 as shown. In this question, we're asked to use nearest neighbour interpolation to estimate the internet speed at the following locations. In part 1, plot in the location 12,16. We see that the point lies in cell B, so it is closest to site B. 
So we estimate the internet speed at this location to be equal to 42.7 megabytes per second. In part two, plot in the location negative 20 comma negative 12. We see that the point lies on the edge adjacent to cells A and C, so it is equally closest to sites A and C. So we estimate the internet speed at this location by averaging the internet speeds at site A and site C, as shown. Given a speed of 45.1 megabytes per second. And in part 3, plotting the location negative 4, comma negative 4, we see that this point lies on a vertex adjacent to cells A, B and C, so it is equally closest to sites A, B and C. So we estimate the internet speed at this location by averaging the internet speeds at sites A, B and C, as shown. Given a speed of 44.3 megabytes per second.